All right, now that we're in Final Cut, we're going to go ahead and make a new project. For this project, I'm just going to call it YT for YouTube. And all you need to do is change your resolution to 1920 by 817. You can do that by clicking this tab, going down to custom, and then just clicking this and highlighting it. The rest of the settings don't matter. That's personal preference on what you like, though this is what I typically use. We hit OK and we're gonna have our timeline. Now for this clip in particular, what I'm gonna show you guys, there's one that works perfectly for my example. So let me go ahead and turn this down and then we're gonna go ahead and make it automatic speed. And then as you can see right now, we have black bars on the side. Um, to get rid of those, we are going to go into the clip and instead of trim, make sure the crop is on and hit crop. Now, as you can see, it cropped the top and bottom off so that this would fill the frame. The problem with that crop is now our bottom, everyone's legs are gone. So to fix that, if you can see right here under crop, we have 131.5 and 131.5 off the top and bottom. So just for an example, as long as those two numbers add up to 263, then you can use whatever part of the frame that you want. So let's go back and put these to zero. So if we want to use the bottom of the frame and have it like this, then we will crop, I believe, 263 off the bottom. Excuse me, I got it backwards, use the top. If we want to use it the other way and use just the bottom, then we will crop 263 off the top. And that's actually about what I want it to look like for this clip. I think I'm actually more um, likely to do about 200 and then 63, just so when these guys jump, we can still see their arms. I don't remember when they jump, but we're gonna, we're gonna look at that real quick so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So anyway, once they jump, I don't want anyone's arms cut off, but I don't want their feet cut off either. So as long as these two numbers right here add up to 263, you're gonna get that widescreen effect and it's still gonna be completely normal. If this helped you uh, learn how to export in CinemaScope or anything else, it'll work for any format. You do it the exact same way. Um, go ahead and like this video. Be sure to subscribe if you want more helpful content in the future. And I look forward to seeing you guys. Peace.